Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be the finale of my winter project use it up and also the introduction of my spring project use it up. So I usually do two separate videos for the, you know, the finale and for the introduction of a new one. But honestly, most of these things I'm just going to keep in for the spring until I finish them up. So there's kind of no reason to really do like a full redo for the spring. So basically, this is just going to be a combination of the two. So I do want to address some things real quick. I'm just going to do this in the next couple of videos. I do have braces. I just started them last week. So I only have four teeth going right now. It's kind of a trial period and then I'm going to get the full mouth in a few days. So just, you know, if you see that in the next couple of videos, I'm going to have them on for the next six months. So that's going to be kind of the new normal here. And yeah, besides that, let's go ahead and get started with what I used up last month. So the first thing that I used up is the Frosted Cranberry Hand Lotion. I've been going through hand lotions about one a month. And so I put this one in kind of in the middle of January and I finished this up, I think a few weeks ago. And then the only other thing that I finished up since the beginning of February is the Twisted Peppermint Mini um, Body Spray. And so all the progress lines kind of disappeared, but I started this out in December or maybe, yeah, in December with no progress on it. It was completely full, so it was all the way up to here. And then I maybe got down to here to January and then to here and then I finished it up. So yeah, these take me now, I've noticed about two months or two and a half months to finish up the um, mini body sprays or fine fragrance mist. So good to keep in mind when I'm thinking about buying a full size one, it takes me about two and a half months to finish up a mini. So how long is it gonna take me to finish up a full size? Like six to eight months. So yeah, probably should go for mini fine fragrance mist from now on. Okay, let's get into some stuff that I have some progress on. So I'm gonna start out with the fine fragrance mist. The first one is Frosted Wonderland. So this body spray, I'm gonna go ahead and mark where I'm at. So it started in the project right up here, kind of a little bit of use, but not much. This was a month, um, where's the next one? And this was a month, and then this has been a few weeks, not necessarily a month. I'm kind of aiming to have this finished by the next update, so yeah, it shouldn't be too hard. I've noticed that if I bring these to work and kind of spray them around the room at work and spray them on myself every few hours, then I use it up a lot quicker. So I'm gonna be doing that with this one and hopefully I can finish it up soon, but I seriously love this scent. I'm gonna be very sad when it's gone, but still I need to finish it up. It's from 2014, so it's seven years old. I really need to finish it before it goes bad. So planning on finishing this one up very soon. So since I've been focusing on Frosted Wonderland, the other few fine fragrance mists don't have a lot of progress, but for Pink Velvet Cupcake, I introduced it a few weeks ago and um, this is the progress line on that. That's a few weeks, so really not a lot, but once I finish up Frost and Wonderland, then I'll focus on Pink Velvet Cupcake and, you know, try to get a lot of good progress on this. I don't want to finish it, but I do want to get a lot of good progress. And then the next one, Velvet Sugar, has barely any progress at all. Um, here's the lines. Literally, like, not a lot of progress. I maybe wore this, like, three times or something, but it's a really good scent. It's just kind of sophisticated, and so I have to be in the mood to wear this, whereas Pink Velvet Cupcake I can wear even at, like, nighttime and be totally fine. So, yeah, this one will probably have a lot less use on it, but I do want to get use out of it. The next thing I'm going to show you guys, I'm pretty much almost done with it, and it's Sugared Cherry Crisp in the Body Cream. I just have a tiny bit left, like, literally not a lot at all um, this it was so good I'm so sad to see it go it was literally amazing um, at the last update I was still at five ounces of this thing so I went through five ounces in about two and a half weeks which is crazy but I was like super addicted to this and it's been very cold here lately so I've been kind of gravitating more towards body creams and lotions and this is just amazing it was so good I really hope they come out with it again I doubt they will, but it was a very, uh, it was like a fan favorite. So I think we have some chance for it to come back, but to replace this one, since it's literally almost done, I'm going to put in pink velvet cupcake in the body lotion. This is from the fall of 2020. I don't know why they think pink velvet cupcake is like a fall scent, but anyways, um, I definitely think it's more of like a spring scent. The fragrance notes are sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugared praline. It smells like strawberries to me. 
like strawberries and a mixture of champagne toast like a little bit champagne toast but not really it smells so good and i'm really excited to have the combination of these two going at the same time i really think pink velvet cupcake is going to be so yummy for the springtime when it starts heating up even now when it's still cold i got a little on my nose um, I think it's going to be so yummy, so very happy to start working on this one. And right now it's pretty much unused at 8 ounces, so we'll see what the progress will be next time. Okay, this is like literally almost done, but this is the um, Mineral Co-Hydrating Body Oil in Moonstone. I've had this in my Project Use It Ups for a very long time. You can see all of those progress lines, and I finally only have like the tiniest bit. You can see there's still a little bit left in there, probably like not even one use, like maybe a half a use left on this, but I, it's still not empty yet, so I wanted to include it, but it's almost done. It's definitely gonna be done for the next update, um, and I probably won't be putting in more body oils just because the only one I have left now is the um, eucalyptus tea body oil, and I think one in my collection is totally good. I don't have to kind of monitor my usage on that one if I've only got one. So next, I'm gonna just show you guys these. I'm bringing them in the collection again, but I have the Lake and Sky Mini perfume oil. I really didn't use this a lot in the last update. I don't have any updates on this for you. I really thought I would be done with this by now, but I'm not. So just keeping this in. And again, the Ari Sweet Like Candy, I didn't use this a lot either. I don't know what it was, but the last couple of weeks I did not use perfume at all. So I'll try to be more diligent about perfume usage in the next few weeks. So something I'm really proud of is the body washes. So I had the Winter Candy Apple Confetti Moisturizing Body Wash in for the last couple of months and I got a lot of use out of it. So it was right here and then right here and now we're down to here. Um, in the last update I had 9.5 ounces in there and now I have 4.9. So very, I used like half of it pretty much. Um, since the last update and I plan on finishing this up so it'll stay in for the spring until I finish it and yeah I do like winter candy apple it smells great I don't want to open this it might like release a bunch of water since it was just in the shower but yeah winter candy apple smells great it's been cold here recently so I haven't like minded using winter candy apple um so yeah I definitely want to finish it and you know have that done but I am enjoying it the next one I have in the shower is Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. So here's the progress updates for that one. Um, we started out right here and now we're down to here. A little bit of progress. I've kind of been using this whenever I don't want to use Winter Candy Apple and it's a really nice scent. I think this will be great to carry into spring so it's going to stay in the project. Mm, it is so nice. I definitely think it smells like um, Wild Berry Jam Donut. So I don't think I'll need to get that in a shower gel because this smells pretty much the same, just like the blueberry version. Um, the notes are baked blueberry, crumbled shortcake, and whipped cream. Gonna smell it again because it smells great. And yeah, I definitely think this will be a good one for the springtime. I think once I finish this one, I'll bring in pink velvet cupcake, but that won't be for a while. So yeah, I'm gonna work on this one once I finish up Winter Kitty Apple. So let's go ahead and move on to body lotions. The first one I have is the Sleep Detoxify Black Chamomile. This has been in my project for a long time and I will keep it in for the spring. Um, we are at 11 ounces on this one and in the last update I was at 13 ounces. I just want to get some steady use out of this. It's kind of a nice scent to use every now and then at nighttime before I go to bed. Um, it's not my favorite scent, but I don't dislike it either. Um, I don't think I'll repurchase it once I finish it, but I'm just trying to finish it off because it is, I think, from 2015 or 2016. Yeah, 2015, so I need to finish this bad baby up before it goes bad. Okay, I've got this one upside down, but this is Coconut Mint Drop. Um, I have it upside down because I don't have that much left, but I'll show you progress lines. This is where it started, and then a month, and then I kind of would say it's about right here um so yeah that's the progress on that one but i'm just gonna keep it upside down it'll probably be done in the next update so i'm gonna keep it in for now until i finish it but i do have something to replace it so to replace coconut mint drop once it's finished i will be putting in twinkling nights this is pretty much unused i think i've used it once um and i found this at winter sas the notes are frosted jasmine petals whipped vanilla and mandarin blossom i've never really used a floral lotion before so this will be exciting to see how i like that um but i really like this scent i think jasmine is like the only floral that i actually like yeah it smells pretty good so i'm excited to see what i think of florals um just by like kind of trying this one out but the packaging is so beautiful i'm really excited to start using this one so 
you'll probably see some progress on this next time. I went ahead and marked it like at the very top. And yeah, we'll see where this one goes. So for hand lotions, like I said, I've been going through maybe like one a month. So right now I have Christmas candy cane in my um, work bag. And it's kind of weird though. Christmas candy cane has, it's like almost like it's been separated already. It's literally almost done, but it's kind of that chunky texture that these get whenever they've been separated. But it, I literally just bought it um, this winter at the winter SAS, so I don't know how it could already have been separated. It's definitely not bad, it still smells fine, but yeah, it has a weird texture to it, so gonna need to finish this up soon, but it's literally like almost done. So to replace it, I'm going to put in Merry Cookie. I had this already in, I think, the December um, Project Use It Up, and I bought another one at SAS, so this is my second Merry Cookie hand cream. I really like this scent. It smells so yummy. It's just like a nice bakery kind of scent so this would be really good to kind of like finish off winter time um i wouldn't say merry cookie is a winter smell it's just smells like baked cookies or like sugar cookies so yeah gonna be excited to start using this one and then i asked you guys in my last update if you want me to introduce soaps for the spring use it up and you guys said yes so i'm going to go ahead and do that now so the first soap has already been going in my bathroom upstairs i share a bathroom with me and my brother so we use the same soap and it is a love ya a latte whipped espresso i put this in at the beginning of february and it's so cute i thought it was really fitting for valentine's day the scent notes are espresso bean creamy vanilla and whipped sugar it smells like coffee it smells really good so I went ahead and marked it right here, um, maybe like three-fourths of the way through of it, through with it. Um, me and my brother finish these up maybe every one and a half months. So this will probably be finished up in March. Um, so yeah, that's Love Ya Latte. And then the other hand soaps will be downstairs in our shared bathroom. It's just like a little, you know, toilet and sink combo next to our kitchen that kind of just everybody uses. So the hand soap goes super fast in that bathroom, like maybe one every three weeks. So the one that I have in there right now is Coconut Mint Drop. This one was actually at the kitchen sink, but I'm the only one who actually uses hand soap at the kitchen sink. My mom uses the Dawn dish soap on her hands so it was going very slowly so i went ahead and put it in the bathroom and we're down to about right there i kind of marked it in a little bitty spot um yeah and my mom knows to save these for me whenever they're finished so this will probably be gone very quickly and the next one that i'm gonna put in after that is i'll be there coconut lime verbena this one is currently at the kitchen sink but like i said only i use those so it's been going very slowly so this one will replace um coconut mint drop in the downstairs bathroom once we're done um, coconut lime verbena is zesty lime, lemon verbena, and coconut water. So we're about to right here on that one. So that one will replace this one when it's done. Um, coconut mint drop is white coconut, iced peppermint, and winter musk. I didn't read the notes on that one. So those are the three hand soaps that I'll be starting out the project with, and I'll probably introduce more as we finish them up. But that is it for now. And yeah, that is everything for the finale of my winter project and the introduction of my spring project. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too confusing um, to kind of combine those two videos, but I figured I'm keeping almost everything um, from the last project, so just until I finish it up. So it kind of defeat, defeated the purpose of doing a whole new video for the intro. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below something that you're proud of using up in the winter time. I think I'm proud of using up, where did it go? Oh, the um, Sugar Cherry Crisp because I went through it so fast because I love it. So very sad to see it go, but excited to start using Pink Velvet Cupcake. Um, let me know also something you're really excited about using for springtime. I'm super excited about starting out with Pink Velvet Cupcake. Um, seeing how I like that and hopefully they bring it back because um, it's I think it's been in the fall collection for the past two years so hope they bring it back for fall again and you guys can pick it up if you haven't tried it before but yeah very excited to start using that so thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>